Good morning. It is bright and early and I am just getting ready to leave for work. Once again, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, PDS Dead. So I had something happen this past week that doesn't happen very often. I actually had a client cancel a project on me. That's one thing that I noticed this year is that people are being much more careful with how they spend their money. I remember when my wife and I were younger, we started having children and as our family grew, we really struggled to keep up financially. We started using a credit card and then we started using another credit card and we had medical debt from having our children. And before we knew it, we were making payments and the balances weren't going down and we were going backwards financially. We didn't have PDS debt as a solution and my wife and I struggled for a long time. Money problems are the number one source of conflict in a relationship. Sometimes all it takes to regain some hope in a situation like that is to make a plan and take the first step. PDS Debt provides options that consolidate your debt into one low monthly payment. They are also a top rated company on Google and have an A-plus rating on the Better Business Bureau. Right now, PDS Debt is offering a free debt analysis, which only takes about 30 seconds. Head over to pdsdebt.com slash victory to get your free debt assessment today. All right, I'm going to take this trash out with Annie, and I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. I'm actually taking the guys out on a charter boat fishing today. If you guys remember, for our 100,000 subscriber celebration, we tried to go on a charter boat fishing on Lake Michigan, but uh, the wind was... Uh, too strong that morning so the captain didn't want to go out so we're going back to the same place uh, because this guy is known in Wisconsin to be one of the best charters around even though I was disappointed back then uh, I definitely wanted to give him another chance and I wanted to make it up to the guys to do something fun uh, Francisco is not going to be here today. He just called and said he didn't want to come. Uh, Carlito called it this morning and said he has a headache. He's not going to come. So the guys really aren't as excited as I thought they'd be about this, uh, except for Big Ray. He's really excited and I'm excited. Uh, so we're going to have fun anyway, but we're going to go out, spend half a day on the lake, try to catch some fish. And I think the other guys that are there, even though they're not excited about it, I think once they're on the boat and they get to, you know, reel in some fish, I think that's going to kind of change their mind and their attitude uh, it's something they've never done before and they just don't know uh, the fun that they're in for how much garbage do we make oh that's impressive all right it is not windy right now so i think we're probably going to end up fishing today we're supposed to get some thunderstorms but not until this afternoon yesterday i went to cabela's after church and i bought a big cooler um, bought a secondary cooler, filled it with snacks, sodas, everything ready to go. And then I got the sense that nobody actually wanted to go except for Big Ray. So I was a little disappointed. Uh, I am paying the guys for a full day of work today and we're, we're going fishing, but still that wasn't enough to convince them to want to go. I don't know, back when I was an employee, if my boss told me that he was going to pay me for a full day of work, uh, but we were just going to go fishing for four hours. He was going to buy me lunch and I was going to be home by noon. I'm pretty sure I would have done backflips, but that was a long time ago and things have changed, I guess. All right, I'm out of here. Annie, you know, she's got an air take collar and I can see she keeps coming home several times during the night. She's out here somewhere. I think she just keeps coming back to check if I took the garbage out see if she's in the clear or not <laughs> she's right out here somewhere in the yard i know she is she's just hiding from me she's being lazy on a monday morning i think tino's here so i hope the other guys aren't late because i don't have much time to spare but tino's early tino beat me here morning tino it's bright and early yeah <laughs> a little bit yeah a little bit it's gonna be me you Eric and Big Ray. That's it? Yep. Yeah, I told the guy at the charter that we had six guys, but we're only going to have four. You got the stamp, the Great Lakes stamp? I, I told him, huh? Yeah. No Carlito either? Uh, Carlito called and said he had a headache. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh I have a headache, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's it. That's it? Yeah. I was going to take my bow and arrow so I can fish with the... <laughs> We're, like we're, like we're going to be in Lake Michigan, so it's really deep. So I don't, you won't be able to see anything down yeah, there. 
No. <laughs> Since they're on the way, boss, I'm gonna use the bottle real quick. Uh, we only have a few minutes, so you better hurry really fast. Well, okay. Yeah, go really fast if you gotta go. And Big Ray's not here, and Eric's not here. Hello? Hello? Big Ray? Yes. Where are you? Um, I'm heading outside right now. I'm sorry, Ryan. Uh, I'm never doing this again. I am not doing this again. I gotta think twice about doing anything fun ever again. This is just not worth it. Cause this is work for me. You know, I have to plan this stuff and, and then nobody wants to go and then nobody shows up on time. And what's the sense? Let's see where Eric is. Eric is not answering. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Well, Eric's not answering his phone. We'll see if he shows up or not. Well, <clears throat> I don't think anybody actually wanted to go. That's the sense that I get. So I think I'm just going to cancel it. I'm going to go pay for the trips. So I'm not going to stiff the captain of the charter. So Eric's obviously not coming. He didn't show up. He's not answering his phone. Big Ray wasn't even on time. I mean, I woke him up when I called. So I'm just going to pay you for the day. You can go home. Really? Yeah, really. It's very disappointing for me. I got coolers in the back of my truck filled with snacks and sodas. I thought that. I got a nice big. Oh, yeah. I've been bought cups. For yeah, us. yeah, I know. So I'll pay for your license, obviously. No, that's fine. But I'm just going to go there and tell them, forget it. But thank you. So, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, boss. Yep. Hello. Hello. Yeah, just forget it, Big Ray. Just go home. I'm cancel. Right. I'm canceling the whole thing. Nobody wants to come, so forget it. All right, I'm on my way to Sheboygan, and look at the sunrise. Absolutely gorgeous. Eric called me just a few minutes ago, and he just woke up, so he would have never made it anyway. So it is what it is, you know. When things like this happen, you know, I learn from them. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. So anyways, I learn from them, and then it affects what I do in the future obviously all right i'm here at dumper dan's in sheboygan really a nice morning i came here in person i'm not going to call them and just tell them hey we're canceling i just wanted to come here and you know meet them in person this is kind of embarrassing for me honestly to tell them that we're canceling but i just wanted to tell them face to face pay them i'm going to leave the first captain a tip and um you know i want to treat these guys fairly it is what it is all right, I went in and paid, and you know he was he was fine. Um, you know he didn't think it really was a big deal, obviously because I paid too. But um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe just it was too early. You know I was asking too much, having the guys show up um, that early. But still disappointing because it would have been a lot of fun. It's a beautiful day. It's really calm out. And uh, it would have been a lot of fun on the water, even if, even if you don't enjoy fishing. And I guess you wouldn't know if you enjoyed it unless you actually tried it. But even if you don't enjoy fishing, uh, definitely would have been enjoyable out on the beautiful lake this morning. So, all right, I'm gonna go grab some coffee, and uh, I'm gonna do some other stuff today that I need to get done. And then uh, tomorrow, if I can get the surveyor out, we're gonna start working on the building pad. Good morning. How can we help you today? Can I just have a large hot coffee with four cream, please? Yes, you can. Do you have your say, sir? That's it. One ninety nine for window, please. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. All right. You thank you so much. All right. All right. I did grab a yogurt yesterday from Quick Trip for breakfast. So this here was supposed to be loaded up with fish today, but obviously it's not. And I bought this cooler. I'm going to use this as my lunch box for the summer. Got a bunch of sodas in there for the guys. I skipped my nap yesterday on a Sunday just to get this stuff ready. What I really should do today, because we have our vacation coming up, is I should take my little fishing boat out and see if the thing still runs. That's what I should do, since I have a little bit of time. Last year was having a little bit of trouble. Um, it would idle okay, but then when you tried to throttle it up, 
it would stumble and stumble and stumble and eventually it would catch and it would go. Maybe I'll do that today. Maybe we'll take the little boat out. Maybe I'll take Daniel for a little ride in the boat. I know he'll have fun. I am back home. I've been running around. Uh, I bought two new batteries for my fishing boat. <sighs> These batteries are not charging. Um, and I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's the batteries. I don't know if it's the onboard charger but something's wrong. So I wanna put these new batteries in and see what the charger shows. I did buy another, a new onboard charger, just in case I gotta swap it out. But we do have our vacation coming up and this is actually something that I need to get done today. And if this goes well and doesn't take too long, maybe I'll take this boat out on the lake today. Haven't had this out since our last vacation, which was July of last summer. So I'm gonna pull these batteries out and put some new ones in and then see what happens. Right, Daniel? Yes. Okay. I did get an email today, bad news from the city, which is, you know, kind of typical. Um, I talked to somebody at the city, you know, one of the main guys and uh, that pillar plan was approved. The new pillar plan was approved and you know he said that you know they have everything they need to issue a building permit so i was under the impression and i talked to my builder last week and i was under the impression that everything was in place he just had to go you know pay for the permit and pick it up but i got an email today and it has a list of seven things that still need to be completed before i can get a building permit so yeah so there's that now that was kind of like a little gut punch. I was coming home from, you know, the charter fishing place. And then I get this email, like, surprise, you're not even close to ready to get a permit. I was like, man. So we're gonna work on that too. put this new battery in and it's showing that it's charged so I want to see if all the accessories are working bilge pumps working aerator is working the horn got a problem in the front but that's working hopefully the trolling motor is working Daniel yeah <laughs> he said yeah Still got rods in here. Yep, still got rods in here. All right, let's see if it even powers on. It's powering on. It's working. Seems like it's good. I have no idea if this thing's gonna start and run, but I'm gonna put this battery in. Not too fast for me. This boat's not too fast for you? Are you sure? Yeah. What if it's really fast? You'll be scared. No. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. No, I won't. I'm over. Somebody said I'm over. Let's see what this says once I hook it up to the charger. Two dots. I don't know if I believe that or not. Oh, there it goes. No, it just went up. I think the charger's fine. Great. Just gotta tighten everything down. I think it's good. Maybe the batteries were just bad. You wanna go for a boat ride at all? Yeah. Yes. Are you sure? Yes. On this boat? If it's yeah. dark. Not you, sweetie, just Daniel. We're just gonna go test it. When we're on vacation, you can go. So yeah, everything's good. I don't have one of the inserts for the battery tray. They have special inserts for these Optimas. I have them for the other ones, so they don't slide around at all. This works. Yep. I don't know, I think it's ready. What do you think? Ready. Sounds like it's ready. Will it actually start though? That's the question. Plugs in, it's got plenty of gas. Do not let these drop. I'm gonna unplug it and close it up because I think it's good to go. Trolling motor's working. Uh, fire extinguisher. This thing is registered till 2025. I think we're 100% legal with everything. 
The only thing we're not legal with is the horn. I don't think that'll actually count if it makes popping noises. Oh, it just started working. <laughs> wow, froggy. Froggy hiding under there. I would hide under there too. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you know what? Where is my fishing seat? I have a really nice bicycle seat. I have no idea where it is. <laughs> is it in the garage? I don't think so. That's not good. Oh, it's right there. Never mind. Got it. My little leaner. I don't prefer a seat. I don't like seats when I'm fishing. I fish aggressive. Like I cast like 3,000 times an hour. So I don't like sitting down. I don't relax when I fish necessarily. Like I'm trying to catch them. That's just kind of the way that I am. So I prefer this kind of seat right here or whatever you want to call it, a leaner. Pow, that's done. I have some really nice fish finders too. Some hummingbirds, side imaging, all that. This boat's like set up. It's got all treks, spot lock, all that. It's got everything that a big bass boat has, except it's smaller. You can get into really shallow water and I don't care if you scratch it or stain the carpet, obviously. It's kind of like ideal, if you ask me. Sure, it doesn't go as fast as a big bass boat, but that's really not the end of the world to me. Someday, maybe I'll get a nice bass boat. You know, when I'm older and I have time to fish, I love, I absolutely love fishing. All right, I'm gonna get this big honking boat out of the way. Line me up, Daniel. What? Line me up. How is it? He does a lot better than some of the other people I know. So Daniel didn't do a good job? No. Oh, Daniel. Pretty close. Yep, yeah, like an inch and a half. Go we'll take the wood out from the tire. All right, watch out. I'm gonna pull it out. I feel bad for the garbage, man. We always make excessive amounts of garbage. It was a mess today. He never complains, man. He always takes it all. I think I'll give him some money. I'll give him a tip. He'll like a tip, right? Yeah. You're the CEO. 50 or 100? 50. Oh, you're kind of cheap. You want to reconsider? Hundred. All right, grass is starting to pop. Yeah. You can actually see it looks a little green from here already. Yeah. Oh. Look at he's still putting all the garbage in there. <laughs> he, threw, he threw the lid way down the driveway because he's kind of angry right now, which I don't really blame him. I would probably be angry too. So I'm not going to get mad at him for that. I would have probably threw the lid into the neighbor's driveway. Oh no, he's going to be really mad now. He drops them out. <laughs> oh. He's our regular garbage man too. That's kind of the same guy every time, right? Yeah, it's always the same. Yeah. He is mad. He is mad right now. I would be mad too. Because we make way too much garbage for him. Just for you, man. I feel bad. We always make excessive amounts of garbage. No, you're good. I appreciate you guys. All right. All right. Have a good day. Yep. Um, go pick up that lid. And then I'm going to hook up to the little boat. Why does that feel so heavy? Am I getting weaker in my old age? All right, let me take this one in the road and then I'll put the other one back. Um, check the lights once. Is one blinking? Yes, that one. Is one blinking now? That one. Are they bright now? Yes. Are they less bright? Not on. How about now? Now they're on. Okay, they're working then. Is it under now? 
I only need one. Just it's in it's on this side of the tire, right? So, but so the boat doesn't roll down the hill. You didn't put it in the back, did you? No. You're too smart for that. All right, got to hook up the other boat. Line me up again. Hey, what happened here? I gotta have one. You guys just threw these out and put yours in. Yeah, because oh. Oh my. I gotta have one too. Everybody has to have a life jacket on the boat. Otherwise, 25 to life. We're gonna go give it a rip, hopefully, if it runs. Hopefully it runs. Uh, no, I'm actually just taking the boat out to make sure it still runs. Haven't had it out this year yet. We've had a lot of problems with ours. Yeah, it's always something with boats, it seems like. Here you go. When the boat comes off, just put it against the dock. How? You'll figure it out. Yeah, Joanna will help. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to pull the rope really hard yet. It's not going to pull you in the water or anything. So, just sit down and hold it with your legs by the seat. Okay, and then keep this by by you just in case. I'll be here. I'll be here in two seconds. A couple batteries. Key. I'll bring this in case Daniel wants to say something. I'll grab something to drink for myself. Now don't let go yet because I have no idea if this thing's actually gonna start. Why is there so much water in the boat? Sure is. Started. Started. And the bilge pumped all the water out. Uh-oh, it's dying. It's dying. It's dead. dead. All right, hop on. Hop on. Water's coming out. Impeller's working fine. It's good. Mm -hmm. Fuel gauge is not working. Trim's working and uh, RPM is working. Running really good. It's pretty much ready for fishing, I think. Yeah, we're good. We're dry. All the water that was in there, that was from, you know, from long before. Oh yeah. It's working. The fish finders. I have three of them. I have two here and one on the console. One of them I broke, so I only have two left. But honestly, I really don't use them all that often. I basically just use one of them here to follow weed lines. I'm just not that good of a fisherman that I can find, you know, the structure and find the fish on the, I, I just, I just don't know what I'm doing. There's a channel I used to watch, Fish the Moment. Guy's like a master on reading the graphs, to find fish offshore. I have no idea what I'm looking at half the time. I think there's fish and they're just, you know, whatever. Everything's working though. It's looking good. Let me make sure spot lots are working. That's working. Beautiful. So when you push that button, that will automatically keep it right where you are. If there's a button on there, you push it, it's like an anchor. So the trolling motor will just move all by itself and it'll keep you right where you are. All right, so I just got an email. So it looks like, it looks like my civil engineer is working on stuff right now one of the seven items <laughs> i think my builder takes care of one of the items so then we'll be down to five 
I got that email on the way back from from you know what was supposed to be fishing and I was like not today not today another good bit of news is I did get a call from the surveyor early this morning and they're probably done right now he said they were coming this morning so we'll have all four corners of the building pad marked I'll have a finished floor elevation marked somewhere somehow um, so tomorrow I'm planning on starting digging gorgeous gorgeous day it's 1204 right now I'm pretty happy that I got this boat going well I shouldn't say that I didn't get it going I'm glad this boat doesn't have any issues my old fishing boat still works like a champ still runs perfect Daniel whoa you think that would be funny if I fell on? Yes. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right, let's go to the deep side of the lake. I don't know why this engine is running way better than it did last year on our vacation. I was having problems with it on our vacation. to a house that I videoed on last fall Let's see if you guys can remember what it looks like so we worked on this house right here some of you guys are remembering some of you guys won't we'll pull up on the dock you want to sit there and hold the board against the thing mm-hmm you too, Daniel? Yeah. I'm gonna run up there so they can remember. The wind's blowing in, so even if you let go, it's only gonna blow in that way. It's not that big of a deal. All right, let's go see how the patio looks. So these are friends of the family. Obviously, if we didn't know them, I would never just pull up on them like this. But if they're here, they will be happy to see us. I don't see anybody. There it is. Remember this patio? We did a little tan and gray and a little tan and brown. This is nice. Still looks really nice. What a great spot for a patio. Yeah. All right, we're gonna cruise around for like 20 more minutes and then we're gonna head home. We weren't gonna stay out long. There's an island over here I could take a few casts around, but I don't even know what I have tied on. I think I have mostly top water, which is no good middle of the day, especially when it's choppy like this. to be concerned about oh I had that on I didn't mean to have that on it was filling the live well that's a boathouse the boat parks in there why does that have to be so big just for now well because it's kind of it has a, you know, like a place upstairs where you can kind of live and stuff. Boy, I can hardly drive past that without taking a few casts. Let me see what I have tied on. Yeah, I could use that. That work. That'll get down there. That's beautiful. This is from when we went on vacation. I was fishing. Well, I fish in the morning. I use top water, and then I switch over. Switch over. I'm just gonna take a few casts. Don't. Make sure everything's still working. 
Don't you worry about that. There's giant muskie in this lake. This lake is known as a muskie lake. I usually throw this one right along the weed edge. I just follow the weed edge in the middle of the day and I cast it parallel with the weed edge and I just let it sink down and then just slow roll it. I doubt I'm going to catch one, but they do hang out over here. Last cast, right against the edge, right against the concrete. Okay, last cast for real, for real. Seaweed. I said for real, for real. This time is for real, for real, for real. I threw it, it was a, it was right on the left side of the dock, just like this, just casting middle of the day. Giant Northern just engulfs it. And that thing was mad. And I got him all the way to the boat. He runs off, wraps himself under the trolling motor and snapped off. I was so mad. It was the biggest Northern I've ever caught in my life. And then one time I was here, I caught a huge muskie. Me and my friend casted for muskie all summer long. I finally get a big one on. And it took all summer. I get them right here, right in this boat. We were right here. I, I uh, told him to grab the cradle. We had a cradle. And he puts it down. He doesn't put it down far enough. He just barely dips it under the surface. The hook catches on the front of the cradle. Fish shook a little bit and ripped it out of its mouth and it was gone. It's the only big muskie I've ever had on. Not good. Not good luck here. But there's some pro tours that come through here, or semi-pro or whatever. They come through this lake and they just smash big bass. Big bass. And then in the fall, there's musky tournaments and there's some giants in this lake. They're just not easy to catch for the average Joe. The pros know what they're doing, they catch them, but... Whoa, that was far. It was? Yeah. yeah. This is the last one for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real. You just never know, you know? It's the anticipation, the very next cast, you can catch a seven pound bass. Which is big for Wisconsin, by the way. But for some states, they're like, well, I catch that in the backyard pond in Florida. Well, this ain't Florida. We just don't grow them that big here. How does that hold the excavator? How does it hold the excavator? Let's go see. Well, he's hitting rock. That doesn't look like any fun at all. Crying rocks out of the ground. That does not look like those guys are having a fun time. Look at that barge. It has a huge excavator on it and a big load of concrete. And it still didn't sink, Daniel. Wow. Poisonironbarge.com. It's getting pretty cloudy. I wonder if it's going to storm. Good thing we're going in now. Right? right? We don't want to get caught in a thunderstorm out here. It's one nice thing about having an old boat like this. Drop a couple chips or some cheese or spill your soda a little bit. Who cares? If you got a hundred thousand dollar bass boat, you're like, oh get it! Everything's a big deal. This boat, not a big deal. Alright, I think we should go fast, Daniel. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna slide along the dock. You guys are gonna hold the boat. I'm gonna get the truck, drive it on the trailer, and that's it. Okay, you guys hold the boat. If it gets away, if it starts to get away, jump in the boat. In the boat? Well, yeah, I don't wanna have to swim for it. Oh. So make sure you don't let go. I'll be back in about 30 to 40 minutes. I'm gonna go get some lunch. I bought another three bank onboard charger, but uh, I'm gonna return it because it was expensive and I think my charger's fine. I think it was just a battery. Everything's showing up fine now. You gotta get all the weeds off your boat. They freak out about it around here. They find you if you take weeds away on your boat or trailer. All right, we just got home. Dropping the kids off. I'm gonna take the boat up to the winter shop. 
I'm gonna grab the cover though, keep it all together. Grass is really starting to grow. It's doing really well actually. I am I have never had good luck growing grass, but this is the best I've ever done. And it's just because it's rained nonstop. Look at over here. This is really thick right here for being brand new. Hi Grace. What you doing there? Is that what you do? Water your feet? Okay, I'm just pulling up back here by the land. And it looks like the surveyors came and marked some stuff out. This looks like it's the driveway entrance right here. This is the driveway entrance. So that's good. I don't know why they put it so narrow. It's supposed to be a 30 foot wide entrance and that's definitely, that's only 23-ish, I would say. But at least I know where it's supposed to be. Let's go check out the corners of the building. And then I wanna make sure they gave me a finished floor elevation too. The rain's coming, you can see the sky is getting dark. You already knew it was gonna rain tonight because we're gonna start digging a little bit over here tomorrow and it didn't rain yesterday it rained all day saturday it rained i don't know an inch plus on saturday and i know for sure it's gonna rain tonight because we're supposed to dig tomorrow gonna make it all muddy all right there are a lot of stakes here <laughs> why are there so many stakes okay i see what they did so it looks like that's the corner right there that's the actual corner and then they gave me some setbacks this looks like it's going to be the actual corner so that's one corner so we were actually not too far off remember i was kind of guessing with the pins when i put the pins i was not too bad right there and obviously i got dirt mounted up here so they had to put that back a little ways yeah, so we're good we're good i don't know what these three are for finished floor elevation okay so this is the benchmark so bm is benchmark and then FFE is finish floor elevation, and then that's the actual elevation, 822.5. So top of stake, that's our that's our elevation right there. And we got our four corners. That's actually not that bad. I got digging to do, obviously, but it's not terrible. So we're gonna wanna we're gonna want six inches of gravel, six inches of concrete, so that's 12 plus two inches for form, uh, foam, excuse me. So we need 14 inches, and we got about seven here. So I got to dig out about seven inches, which is not terrible. Not terrible. I can live with that. This is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, I got to get to the winter shop quick because that looks like rain. And I don't want the boat all soaked again. We're trying to dry that thing out. I want to vacuum it, clean it all out. Make sure the batteries are full. Tires are aired up. Make sure it's 100% ready for our vacation. Our vacation is not for a while, but... It was honestly kind of nice to get the boat ready. Got the kids out, got to see them have a good time. It's nice to see, you know, smile and laugh. It's always good to see the kids laugh and smile. It's a lot of fun. Well, I didn't make it to the winter shop in time. It's raining and it's about to start pouring. I got relatively close and it's not that big of a deal really. Oh yeah, we're gonna get rained by the inches again today. Just spooling into the winter swamp. MacGyver's got his truck out in front of my door. I think I can get, still get around it though. It is gonna be nice having my own place. Not having to worry about anybody else. It's gonna be nice not having a swamp either. Have nice gravel, concrete everywhere. Part of the parking lot is going to be concrete, but there's still going to be a lot of gravel. It's just way too big. I can't afford to put concrete in the whole parking lot yet. Someday, but not this year. I'm just paving just around the building as little as possible, whatever the city's going to make me do. We talked about that during our meeting, and they weren't really all that concerned about that, which was good. It is coming down. Oh, can't see anything. Oh, we're good. We're good. I gotta lengthen these chains too. 
The safety chains are way too short for this truck. I'm gonna open everything up and let it just dry. I got a lot of lures in here, man. I got everything in here. Everything you might want. Hopefully my worms aren't melting. Nope, they're still good. Everything's good. Oh my goodness, look at that. No way. I had an impact in here. Does it work? This boat was completely flooded, so highly doubt that's going to work. But you never know. Oh yeah. Of course it works. Well, that's really cool. Starting fluid. I had starting fluid. How about that? Well, I'll pull the plug again since we just had a whole ton of rain in the boat. That ain't bad. Make sure there's nothing funny going on with the charger. It always takes a second and then it'll show where they're at. And there it goes. Full on the starting battery. I think they're fine. I think everything's good. That's it for now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring my Spectra laser. I'm going to bring this one. Uh, the DeWalt that I have, it's a good residential laser, but it just doesn't project a uh, far enough distance for what I am going to use it for on the slab. All right. So I'm going to bring this one along for tomorrow. All right, just pulling up. Doing a bit across the street. We did this driveway. Uh-oh, looks like we got a fan. How's it going, Ronnie man? Ronnie Talbot, my man. We are huge fans over at Eco Harmony. Oh, yeah? Eco Harmony. You guys Lanes are in Butler, right? Uh, yeah, 124th in Capitol, like right yeah, at home. Yeah, yeah, home yeah. Depot. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. Stop that's awesome, man. Here, grab a couple stickers. Grab a sticker, sweet. Uh, I think there's there's some more over on that side there. Oh, sweet. Yeah, there you go. Appreciate it. We got three of them. You guys been busy? Busy. I mean, we can't. I mean, it rained the last couple oh, of weeks. Oh man, it's a couple of months it's since. Yeah, it's us, been man. terrible. Yeah, for real. I would take it easy, man. It cool, was man. Really good. It was yeah, really good, good meeting meet you. you. Too. Yeah. Yep. Have a great one. Yeah, you too. So, anyways, yeah, we poured that last. That was the first job we did last year, and I think this is the place here. Let me check this address. Seventy-one. Yep. This is the one right here. I don't think the guy's here yet, though. It's big, big driveway. They're all big in here. All these driveways are big. These are huge houses. It looks like the driveway's all staked out with wood stakes. I wonder if he had somebody else come in and bid it, or he put the wood stakes in. Maybe the homeowner did it, just to make it easy for me. So I've been bidding my uh, new construction's a little on the low side, so I'm going to bump it up. Got some good information from the last homeowner that he had four bids and I came in low, which is shocking to me. So, but he told me what everybody else bid and it was all my main competition. So now I know what everybody bid. <laughs> now I'm going to end up in the middle again. It's kind of how it goes. So after this one, I got an interesting bid. I'll take you guys along for that one. Uh, apparently the lady is getting a, it's just a small patio. It's nothing huge. But uh, the guy started the job and he never finished. So I guess it's formed up and they graded it, compacted it, and they never came back to pour. And she emailed me and she's super fed up. She's like, I just want somebody to come and get it done. I'm sick of these guys. So I'm going to go over there and try to figure out what's going on. 10 by 11 and a half. All right, looks like the guy's here, so I'm going to speak with him. All right, that went good. So he had an estimate, he told me the high bid and it was it was super expensive i'm sorry but 15 dollars a square foot for new construction i know in some parts of the country that's normal but that's too high here we're between nine and twelve dollars a square foot for a new construction driveway when you're getting up by 15 you're just kind of shooting for the stars hoping for the best Maybe you're overbooked and you're like, well, I'll just put these out there and maybe somebody will buy it and I'll make a bunch of money. I've said this before, but we have a lot of good concrete contractors in our area. There's not a lot of guys that are hacks around here. Most guys do nice work. So 
I don't know why that is, you know, it's just different areas. Some areas I hear that the contractors are not the greatest, a lot of hacks, but not around here. Most of the contractors around here, pretty flawless work. I think it just happens, you know, where like, you know, contractors are working in an area and, you know, one guy does really nice work and then the next guy, you know, he steps it up and then the next guy has to step it up. And I think we just all hold ourselves and our area to a high standard. I just think that's how it works and how it gets to be the way that it is. I could be wrong, but I think that makes sense. It's logical. So we'll go see the lady now. She's way on the other side of town, um, but it would be a nice little job just to sneak in towards the end of this week. We are in the middle of a pretty big thunderstorm. More of a rainstorm. There's been some lightning, but not a ton of lightning. Uh, it's raining so hard, it's hard to see. One of those things. Man, this rain is crazy. It doesn't rain much harder than this. The roads are starting to fill with water. These guys over here, look how flooded this is. Oh no. Oh, this is getting bad really fast. We're flooding out. It's flooding everywhere. That happens fast, man. Our ground is saturated, but if it rains as hard as it just did for like 30 minutes, it's, it, it goes crazy fast. All right, the lady's here. She's got an umbrella. She's like, well, let's take a look. I like, okay. <laughs> I said, I'll take a quick look. That should be all that's needed is a quick look though. Okay, so I already talked to her. I'm not gonna put her on the video. So somebody came here and set these forms and they've been taking forever, forever and ever and ever, and they're not coming back. So I told her, I don't wanna pour in their forms in case a guy comes back gets mad, finds out somebody else is doing it and comes down and takes his forms out right before we pour, like the day before or whatever. So I'll just strip this, pile it up, put my forms in. Got to chip out that threshold that's in the way. We're going to have to pour right under the siding and then slightly ramp it up under the door. It's about a half inch difference. We're going to have to do something here. We're going to have to cut that, chip that out. It's not even straight. It sets two by eights there. The guy had a skid loader. He came in here and dug it all out with a skid loader. I don't know what's taking so long. Just pour it. So this is probably gonna be a little bit more expensive than she was hoping. Cause she got somebody that's doing kind of a side job. But if she wants it done and wants it done really quick, it is what it is. All right, she signed up. So we're gonna come here on Friday and we're gonna pour the stoop separately and then pour the patio. Uh, we're going to do standard concrete color and then just use a light gray release uh, that always looks really good especially on a light gray color house like this here all right so the day started out a little disappointing but it got better and you know even though i wasn't feeling great this morning about everything it, it turned out to be a pretty good day we had fun on the boat with the kids and you know i got this job and i just came from the estimate uh, that you saw and that's a big driveway and that actually looks pretty good as well all right, tomorrow's the groundbreaking on the new land. I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, everybody will be there. I uh, just want to get everything excavated and get some strings up, get some forms up. It's going to take us a couple days just to get all that dug out and the forms up, but we're going to get started on it tomorrow and um, just see how it goes, see how much we can get done. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios.